when I was making my stitch library, I wanted to include a second version of a twisted stitch. Now this is a typical simple stitch, side to side, and then pull up a loop. Okay, very simple. That in fact, that's why it's called simple. Now when I make my twisted simple stitches, I have always pulled it through and moved the hook down and then pulled a loop through. Now I love the way this looks. It creates a tiny little uh, X at the bottom. It's, it's really a very cool effect. But I wanted to show you a different way. So here is a simple stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to make the hook go in the reverse direction. So pull the hook toward the beginning of your row and when you get it past that back loop okay when you get it past that back loop bump it up just straight up and that twists the stitch the opposite direction and you pull up a loop there let's do that again here's a simple now hook, use your hook like a grapple and just grab that yarn and instead of twisting up, I mean instead of twisting down like I usually do, try twisting it up, straight up, and it'll pop up on the top and then yarn over, pull a loop through. So simple stitch. Now use your hook, pull that over, pull that front vertical bar over, pop it up, and pull a loop through, just straight up to the sky. Simple stitch, pull a loop forward and rotate up to pop it up and pull up a loop. Now this does take a little bit of practice, but it has such a neat effect that I wanted to be sure to include it in my stitch library. So pull that yarn forward toward your hand, your beginning of your row, and pop it up. Just pop through. Now you will develop your own technique once you get that. There's a simple. Once you get going you'll develop your own technique and you won't have to work so hard to get that loop up there. I'm just going especially slow so that you can see what I'm doing. Simple stitch and then pull that loop through and pop it up. Pop it up over the top. Now I see I did not start with an even number here. So let's just pretend and go under the last. See how I'm just pretending. Don't worry about that. You didn't see that. Chain one, yarn over, pull through two, and through two, and through two. And let me get some more yarn and through two and just pull through two all the way across until you get to the end and what this does, it's a very neat effect it's two simple stitches that are facing each other and it looks very cool when you stack them All right, let's see what we can do here. Do another simple, just a regular simple, and then insert your hook over here. See, it's already wanting to twist, so it's already working for you. Pop it up, pull through, and then a simple, and then twist, and pop it through, pop it through the top. Now, see, I went through the chain. Got to be careful just to pop it through the on top of the chain. So simple and pop it up. Now again this does take some practice but it's so neat the way it looks when you get this done that I wanted to be sure to include it. Now here is the thing. You see that? It looks like ribbing. See? Isn't that neat? I love that. That is the second version of the twisted simple stitch that I have at crochetkim.com. Be sure and have a look.